Hello there, I'm Stephen May, the solicitor. Last week, I did a video on the Pimlico no jab, no job policy, and it's now had over 20,000 views and 500 comments. So thanks very much for that. Now, the video didn't reveal my own views on the vaccines or masks, because my opinion often doesn't count when I give advice. Clients want to know what the law is and what they can and can't do. They want facts, mostly. So many of the comments were anti-vaccine and that's absolutely fine by me. As discussed, there's no law that forces anybody, well, except those potentially mentally unable to make decisions, to have a vaccine. I personally uh, have an issue with the temporary approval by MHRA and the regulation 174, but that is for another video. But I also saw a lot of comments about masks and masks we mask wearing. So lots of people seem to suggest that mask wearing is optional, that it's not law and it's only guidance and, and that kind of thing. So I wanted to talk about that. Now, a bit of a disclaimer time. I've been a business lawyer for 13 years. I don't do crime or public law. There's far better lawyers on those subjects than I am. Um, in my day-to-day -day job, I draft contracts, um, review them, advise on business disputes, uh, employee issues, employment law, certainly not public order offences and criminal law. I'm also not a human rights lawyer, so I'm not here to say whether some act or principle from history overrides the current law. And finally, <clears throat> I'm not building a defence against it. I'm merely reporting what the current law is. Okay, got that? Great, so let's make a start. So in England, mask wearing is currently a legal requirement. The wearing of masks is covered in seven different regulations, and we'll have a look at those in a bit. The first question though is, what's the difference between legislation, statutes, acts, and regulations? So legislation is the name for the output of laws made upon by acts of parliament, sometimes known as statutes or statutory instruments known as regulations. Acts of Parliament are discussed and debated in both the House of Parliament and House of Lords, and regulations are not usually debated but are permitted by Acts of Parliament. That is, an Act permits a government minister to introduce regulations on a particular subject. But that's not to say that regulations aren't law. For coronavirus, there's been many of each. All of the changes to restrictions have been in multiple Acts, amendments to Acts, and, of course, regulations. And mask wearing are in, within regulations, and therefore they're as valid as law as legislation, as are the consequences of not following the law. Now, you may disagree with them. You may say they're a muzzle, they're ineffective, they reduce oxygen to the brain. Whatever your viewpoint, that's fine, it's yours, and honestly, that's fine. But your opinion doesn't override legislation and would not likely be a good defence in court. The regulations do, of course, build in a number of exemptions to mask wearing. The main one being having a reasonable excuse, which includes things like physical or mental illness, severe distress, disability under the Equality Act, the need to lip read, to prevent harm, to eat and drink, to verify identity, for instance, going to a bank or where a police officer or council COVID marshal asks you a question. Uh, so let's have a look at some of the legislation quickly. Okay, so here is the first lot of reg regulations for face masks. This is about wearing face coverings on public transport. And um, this is a statutory instrument or regulation number 592. Next one uh, is the wearing of face coverings in a relevant place. This is the main one. So as you can see here, there's a requirement to wear a face uh, covering whilst entering or remaining within a relevant place. The, the um, requirement doesn't apply to certain uh, people, as you can see there. Um, if we go back into what then is a reasonable excuse, a reasonable excuse is for those that, because of any physical mental impairment or it causes severe distress, things like risk of harm or injury, um, to eat and drink, to take medication, uh, etc. Um, it then sets out what the, uh, the enforcement is. Um, the interpretation section uh, sets out uh, as well what a relevant place is. Um, as you can see, it's in part one of the schedule, which is there, which includes certain things, but does not include certain other uh, areas. Then we have the uh, amendments to that, face coverings, which uh, amends, um, by and large, mostly amends the schedule. Um, so it puts in some other terms. 
uh, into there and amends some of the things. And then we have uh, a further amendment as well. Next up, we have um, the amendment to the uh, regulations on the public transport. And then we have another amendment to that and then another amendment to that. But as you can see, wearing of face masks on both public transport and in relevant places uh, is definitely regulations, definitely law. Thanks for watching. But now we come back to the bit I mentioned in my previous video, which is can an employer force an employee to wear a mask? I said yes, they can subject to disability, disability and equality laws, and many of you disagreed. And the reason an employer could force wearing masks in, in a relevant place, for instance, a customer's site, is because it is law. And so if an employee unreasonably refuses, the employer could take disciplinary action and it would be reasonable in law for it to do so. However, the regulations provide exemptions as discussed and the Equality Act overrides things as well. So clearly, if somebody has a genuine disability, which means they cannot possibly wear a mask, then they're exempt. And people say, I've heard this, people say that all you need to do is say that you're exempt and no one can challenge you and no one can question you. And I disagree, particularly in the employment context. That's because an employer will not be held liable for disability discrimination if it doesn't know, or it's not reasonable to say it ought to know, that that person has a disability. So if you've never mentioned, to your, uh, me never mentioned your disability to your employer before, and now refuse to mention it when questioned, then I would say it's acceptable for the employer to take action. Employees have a duty of fidelity to their employers and telling the truth is, and, and disclosing relevant facts is important in that relationship. In my previous video, I said that an employer could take disciplinary action uh, against an employee who refused to wear a mask without a reasonable excuse, and I stand by that. I had an inquiry recently from someone who said he had a medical exemption, but he refused to disclose it to me. I said I couldn't help him, but in refusing, it, refusing to disclose it to his employer, all he is doing is making them sceptical. Your employer is bound by data protection laws and health is a sensitive personal data, so it's not like they can tell the world about your disability. Outside of the employment world, as I say, mask wearing is a legal requirement, like it or not. And again, unless you have a reasonable excuse, you're gonna contravene the law. I've seen lots of videos where people being challenged about mask wearing and saying, I don't have to tell you why I'm exempt. You can't question me. But I disagree with that. As it's a criminal offence, if you want the benefit of protection under the exemptions, you need to state exactly why you get that benefit. And that's as easy as saying it causes me severe distress, of course, if that's true. But that's so much better than saying I don't have to say anything. That misconception is that under the Equality Act, someone with a protected characteristic cannot be treated differently. But firstly, the person needs to know or ought reasonably know that the other person has a protected characteristic. And secondly, you're not being treated differently by being asked about it if the questioner would ask anybody not wearing a mask the same question. So asking for more information rather than I'm exempt, you can't ask me, seems to me to be reasonable in all of the circumstances. Okay, so that's the end of this little video on mask wearing. Please leave your comments below, hit subscribe. In summary, mask wearing is law. Employers could discipline non-mask wearing staff if there's no reasonable excuse, and the reasonable excuse is defined in law as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Stephen May, the solicitor, a lawyer for businesses. My website is www.stephenmather.co.uk. Thanks for watching.